Why do we even have polls? Are they just clickbait? Or is there science behind them? We've just published a story on the science behind opinion polls. Unfortunately, there's not much of it, not much of it that you can see anyway, because there's no transparency. So the two main media organisations, Nine and News Corp, both regularly publish opinion polls on the major political parties and the leaders, Albanese and Morrison, and what the public thinks about them. The questions aren't public, the methodology isn't public, the sample sizes are tiny, and we don't even know how they find their target audiences. I've never been polled, for instance. Using these polls, which speculate as to the public's voting intentions, the Murdoch Press and the Nine Entertainment Press get a lot of traffic, get a lot of discussion going. It's effectively clickbait. So news poll in the Murdoch Press is controlled by News Corp. So we know where their voting intentions are. The new pollster, for the Fairfax media, now owned by Nine Entertainment, is called Resolve Strategic. Now, Resolve Strategic, interestingly, is run by a guy that was once the director of the lobby group, the Liberal Party lobby group, CT Group, formerly called Crosby Texter, that actually has people within the Prime Minister's office. The principal private secretary to the Prime Minister is the ex-managing director of Crosby Texter. Just in the notes to the methodology about the data, of course, you don't see the questions themselves being published, but we do know there's a concession here that sometimes the questions can be ad hoc, which means off the cuff, maybe unscripted. What are these questions? How does that work? Does everybody get on ad hoc questions? Who was best PM? We don't even know whether that question has been directly put to the survey respondents. So here we have two major media organisations in Australia, Nine Entertainment and News Corp, both government aligned with their own polling services, both of these which have Liberal Party links. The methods are opaque, the questions are secret, and yet these polling stories are run off the front pages of the newspapers. They condition themselves public opinion. This is what they call the bandwagon effect, where people that are not particularly full of conviction either way, perhaps swinging voters, people that don't have much political conviction when canvassed, want to just be on the winning side. The poll results therefore are given more weight than they should be given because of the sheer amount of media coverage, the clickbait arising from these stories. They, in themselves, can condition opinions. Now, that's not to say that the polls are totally useless. They're going to be there whether we like them or not. But just being aware of how opaque they are and how we don't know what the methodology is, is a warning. Like this video if you've never been polled. We've conducted our own polling and we found that the best way to support independent media is to throw us a few bucks on Patreon, buy the merch or support the website.